Hello children and parents, um, welcome back to Canterbury Baptist Church and we are going to carry on looking at the stories of Moses. Now Moses uh, last week was a baby found by the Pharaoh's daughter, looked after by his mum until he was old enough to go to the palace and be treated like a prince. And he was treated like a prince, he was a prince of Egypt um, until he defended a fellow Israelite um, and eventually was cast out uh, into Midian. Where he, was, um, where he was adopted into a family of shepherds, uh, married one of the shepherd's daughters. Uh, and we encounter him now uh, in Exodus 4 as a shepherd, just on the cusp of being used by God. So if you're ready, um, you, you settle down and we'll listen to the story of God calling Moses. Many years passed while Moses cared for the flocks of Jethro his father-in-law. One day the sheep and goats were chopping the grass on the lower slopes of Mount Sinai. Moses looked up and saw a bush that seemed to be on fire. He watched anxiously in case the fire should spread through the dry desert land. But although the fire glowed bright, the bush stayed unharmed. Curious, Moses went nearer to look more closely. Then he heard a voice coming from the heart of the fire. Moses knew at once that it was God's voice. Take off your shoes, Moses, God said, for this is holy ground. Moses obeyed, then waited quietly. His heart beat fast and he covered his face with his cloak. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, God said. I have heard the groans and cries of my people who are slaves in Egypt, and I am going to rescue them. You, Moses, are going to lead them out of Egypt and into the land that I promised to give to the descendants of Abraham. Not me, God, Moses begged hastily. Please don't send me as their leader. I'm just, I'm just nobody. I could not do it. But I will be with you, God promised. I will help you and you will succeed. You will lead my people to this very mountain to worship me here. Moses still did not want to go back to Egypt. He went on making excuses. But God had an answer for every single one. He told Moses that his brother Aaron could go with him and do all the talking for him. Take your stick with you, God ordered. You will use it to do wonderful things that will prove to my people and to the king of Egypt that I am the one true God, more powerful than the king and the gods he worships. Reluctantly, Moses obeyed God. He took his wife and two sons and stick in hand and set off for the land of Egypt. It's exciting. God has finally given Moses his calling and he did it through the burning bush. And maybe you could produce your own burning bush with some tissue paper. Um, and the fact that the bush didn't burn away is really exciting uh, because God spoke to him in that moment. And um, so we're going to pray now that God speaks to us uh, in, in what he tells us and, and how he leads us. Uh, and then next week we're going to be looking um, at how Moses talked to the king of Egypt. So. Let's just pray and then um, we'll say goodbye till next week. God, thank you for Moses. Thank you that you spoke to him in this wilderness, in this desert. And that you told him that you would be with him throughout all the challenges that were to come. Lord, talk to us, be with us uh, and, and help us to follow your commands and do as you want us to do. Be with us this week, Lord. Amen. Amen. Bye-bye, children. Bye-bye, parents.